Hi guys, uh, welcome back to the How Great Is The Art podcast, the most wholesome podcast in the Northwest. Um, today is actually a collaboration uh, I'm doing with the Authentic Art podcast, um, with Harmony from the Authentic Art podcast, I should say. Um, so we did part one on uh, Harmony's podcast, the Authentic Art podcast. I'll put a link in the bio. Um so check that out first before you come here. We talked about my process. So if you want to learn more about me, because I haven't really talked about myself on this podcast. If you want to learn more about me, head over there. Um, yeah. And now we're here to do part two. Yes, part two. Very excited. I feel like um, like in part one, you know, we we're talking about like being humble and like how sometimes <laughs> we don't like to promote ourselves and stuff. <laughs> Um, so if you want to hear about Joshua, come to the first part because he talks about his life and what he's done and his art. So you'll get more of an insight there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So um, today we're going to be talking about like the struggles of being a Christian creative and um, also pop culture and Christian art, I guess, how they intertwine how they differ, um, all that jazz. So um, first we're going to talk about the hard things that we have to deal with being a Christian creative. Um, So what would you say is one of the hardest things about being a Christian creative? Yeah, I feel like um, just from someone as well who... I've grown up, you know, um, online, you know, um, watching YouTube and, and, and following influences and things like that. So I feel like, um, now someone who is also creating content, um, I feel like you start to understand like what people go through (laughs) when it comes to creating Mm -hmm. content. Um, and especially as a Christian, like, I feel like, um, it adds like a whole nother level of, um, I guess things to consider and think about, you know, when you're creating and, um, I guess just having like certain convictions and, and, you know, not just giving into, um, whatever is, you know, whatever's going off on TikTok or whatever, you know, like there's sometimes there's like some crazy stuff going on. So, um, I feel like it's hard to be, um, Sometimes it feels like it's hard to be seen, um, right. especially because it's so saturated, like social media is saturated with so much content, um, but also like remaining, you know, um, pure and, and, you know, um, righteous, I guess, and like living the way we are called to live as a Christian. Um, yeah, right. I don't know. Like, how do you feel about that? I definitely agree with that because um, there's, definitely been times where I, I'm just like like it's like maybe I should try this and I know I shouldn't but it's like because I just want my work to get out there so people can just like just like come yeah, <laughs> like come yeah, in definitely. <laughs> um so yeah I, I get that feeling um uh I'll say it's a lot to do with humility as mm. well I think because we try to be humble um, I say that's a part of it because it's like we don't want to do something that's too trendy, so like we blow up or like go viral, and some people struggle with that. Mm. Um, uh, which I would say is like the other side. It, like if you do go viral, if you do get like something that blows up, I yeah. guess it's kind of hard to. Well, not for all people, but I know some people it's hard to remain humble because they get caught up on that. And then they're like, oh, what What else can I do to go yeah. viral instead of um, forgetting that, like, it's for God. Like, mm. you're meant to give glory to God, glorify God with your art instead of glorifying yourself. That's um, right. There was, like, a a book that I was reading. I forgot what it's called. It's called Art for Art's Sake. Okay. No, art for God's sake, art for God's sake. It's called art for God's mm-hmm. sake. And um, there was this part where I was talking about uh, Henry Matisse and 
how um, he was in this chapel and he used to make like beautiful paint, paint paintings and um, he would step back and like say, oh, look what I've done. And uh, there was one Catholic sister that came to him and she's like, but I thought it was for God. Uh, and he's like, yes, but I am God. Whoa. So it's like, yeah. <laughs> so it's like, That's intense. <laughs> you can, you, it, it, you can like get in your own head sometimes and uh, forget that like you're making art to glorify God, which is 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 quite it's it's quite easy to get into that mindset because um, when people see your work, they praise you didn't really praise god like they're like oh look what lovely work you made oh this is amazing yeah. um if someone wants to buy your work they ask you they didn't like oh <laughs> can god can i buy his work that you made for god like this like so um yeah i would say it's definitely a challenge to remain humble mm-hmm. but being too humble is also an issue as well so it's like you've got to find the right 100%. balance and I love what you said like um just about like taking I guess um the reflection or the attention off us and you know glorifying God with that because um like we obviously see that all the time on social media like people are mm-hmm. um always making it about themselves you know and like that's that's what sells I guess and and um, you know, you see all these people doing these ridiculous things, you know, um, for the attention yep. and, um, as Christians, you know, I guess we're, we're called to, to, um, you know, give glory to God and everything that we do. And so, um, like we've talked about, you know, it, it, you can either go too far on the humble side or you can be, you know, just, um, I guess selfish and, and always just thinking yeah. about yourself, Um, and so, yeah, it's hard when, um, people are looking at your work and, and, and things and, um, you know, it's obviously you, like you're the one who did it, but it's like, oh, well, God was actually working through me, (laughs) you know, with this work. And so, um, I guess, yeah, it's also just remembering to acknowledge him and, you know, giving him glory for all that we do and, um, in all that we create as well. Cause you know, he, he, he gives us ideas for art and everything. And I love that. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. Mm. Definitely. Um, so what do you think needs to change in, uh, like Christian culture when it comes to being a creative in this day and age? Yeah. It's, um, <laughs> I feel like there's so much, <laughs> but um, <laughs> I think sometimes, as Christians, like we can panic if we don't understand a certain work of art. Um, Mm -hmm. And sometimes we're not willing to take time to just like stop and listen and hear from the artist or hear where they're coming from. And um, like, I feel like there's been stuff even just like recently that you see and it's like um, people are so quick to just assume like if it's like, say like it's demonic or something you know what i mean like <laughs> yeah, even yeah, yeah. Like, um like i i guess for an example like you know montel fish and like the yeah. work like oh, all yeah. the stuff that he's coming out with <laughs> like it's like people just assume because it's different that it's bad and yeah. it's like sometimes i think we just need to stop and just you know maybe reflect and have a think before we speak um but Definitely. because I feel like there can always be different interpretations of how we express art and things like that. Um, and like, obviously there's like blatant stuff that's just like blaspheming and things, but then there's like, um, I think it's hard for sometimes for people as Christians and creatives to, you know, express things um, differently because I don't know, like people freak out, like if it's not the normal of what we would see in Christian yeah. art. Um, so that's like one thing I just wish people would like, just, just stop for a second and just, you know, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know, like pray about it or something, you know, like just um, ask God, invite him into it and, you know, see what he's trying to reflect in this work or something. Yeah. 
I'm yeah, I'm so passionate about that topic. Yeah. Like I could talk about that for years. Like, yeah. <laughs> Cuz I I agree so much. Like I've seen it especially with the Montel fish stuff, but I yeah, I've seen it like people just like, if it's not overtly Christian, like people get a bit they're like, "Oh, whoa, what's this?" Like is that they want to be so comfortable in their position that like anything that looks a bit different they're like whoa like this is yeah, like this is bad this is wrong right. but like that's not the case yeah. like um even like abstract mm. art you can glorify god in abstract art even though you can't see anything that's like specifically christian um i had uh an abstract artist on my podcast a couple episodes ago um called Lennox Green who's like a Christian abstract artist oh, yeah. and um the way he was explaining it to me it just made so much sense because it's like um abstract art it kind of reflects the abstract nature of yeah. god like we don't understand everything about yeah. god but there's certain things that we know that he lets us know and that's with like abstract art too so like we can identify colors in abstract art so you can say oh, that's blue that's gold that's white um in the same way that we know certain things about god like um the promises he's made to us or, or like yeah that kind yeah. of stuff but um at the same time there's this sort of like ambiguous nature or this like abstract nature which we don't know and we can't we won't really ever know it's the same way with abstract art there's so many interpretations mm we can have with our art um so yeah that's like one way that art that's not overtly christian can still glorify god in that that's way that's so true um, i love that yeah and like um yeah i think a, a beautiful thing as well is like god has given us these gifts and like we can we can incorporate those gifts into every area of our lives and so mm -hmm. like if we're going through something like we all go through struggles and things like why shouldn't we be allowed to use those gifts to process, you know, what we're going through, you know, like God, yeah, God's right. given us these gifts for a reason. And so to be able to write a song about what I'm going through at the moment or to paint a, a painting or like an abstract painting um, or to create something digital, you know, whatever it may be, or to take photos, you know, um, mm -hmm like why like what's wrong with that <laughs> you know what i mean right, right. um it's a really beautiful thing that we can utilize these gifts in so many areas in our, our life it doesn't just have to be like one one thing in particular and like i feel right. like that's something i've learned as well over the years because i feel like i used to have this guilt where i could never use my gifts um unless it was in church and i don't know where i came up with <laughs> with that idea <laughs> but it was always there and I was like like I used to feel guilty I would have all these awesome ideas and brainstorm things and I was like oh but right. but oh no I can't do that you know I, ca I can't be using that because I need to be focusing on what's going on in church and I need to be using it here and um I I don't want to like go off topic or anything but I feel like um one thing I've learned is like with church, you know, that's, that's within community, like you're creating within that community. And then, um, right. I feel like God also gives us, um, uh, art ideas and creative ideas, you know, just for ourselves, you know, to just be able to create. Um, like I said, it's like the beauty of, um, being able to use our gifts in so many different areas. And so, um, yeah, I just think that's a, just a cool thing that we can do. Um, as creatives and we don't have to like we don't have to have guilt about it you know that there, there shouldn't be a guilt yeah. there to use your gifts in other areas in life yeah because i think art art's main goal in pretty much everything or at least visual art is to reflect the life of the artist yeah. or like at least how they see the world and if your relationship with god is like good and solid um then that will come out in your art regardless 100%. like you don't have to try and think of things um like the inspiration will come and then you just make the art 
So it's even as sim- something simple as pain in the sky that could still reflect God. Like maybe it um, documents the time that you're praying and then you just looked up at the sky and then you're just like, oh, let me paint yeah. the sky. Um, but to people, it's just like, oh, this is a sky. Like, <laughs> yeah. There's but, so much more to it. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, it's still... And God made yeah. the sky, so it's like it's still glorifying right. God. So, yeah, so to the people that on the other side that may think that they need to make these overt Christian artworks in order to like make Christian art or feel like a Christian artist. You don't necessarily. You can. I'm not saying you you don't have to. I mean, I'm not saying that um, it's bad if you do. You can. um, But you just don't have to. Like, don't feel forced to do that. Unless it's something specific, like you're making something specific for someone, or mm. like, like you said, you're in church. Um, but for your, don't feel like you have to do those things because those things don't make you a Christian artist. It's your relationship with God that makes you. A oh, Christian that's artist. so good. That's so true. Amen. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So. The last question, I guess, is you're a Christian creative, I'm a Christian creative. So what piece of advice would you give to someone who's trying to get in the industry or is like starting early in the industry? Yeah, um, I feel like there's so many things I guess we could list and we could talk about. Um, I feel like just the first thing to do is just start, you know, like just mm-hmm. start creating just just take some time out and just um just paint or, or or draw or or take photos or take videos like whatever it is um i've been having a friend of mine i've been talking to recently um you know we've been sharing about i guess just how to just create stuff just for fun and i'm like you just got to do it like you just start, like yeah. if you're going for a walk, you know, take a photo of what you see or um, just simple things like that um, is it can, yeah, it can bring inspiration. It can bring on more ideas. Um, yeah. And I guess just don't be, don't be afraid. I know that's, it's hard. Like, <laughs> you know, I feel like sometimes you're like, oh, what are people going to think of this or what I've made? Yeah, and yeah. Um, sometimes you just put it out there and, and just share it with the world. And, you know, that's what I just started doing. And, you know, now I've just built a nice little community of people. And, and um, yeah, you just got to start, I guess. It's re- It sounds so, like, easy. I know it's hard, but sometimes you just <laughs> need that push, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll definitely give the same advice, like, just start, like, because if you sit on your ideas for too long, someone else is going to do that mm-hmm. idea, and you just be like, oh, I thought that, or I wish I did it, but you don't have to wish if you're doing it, like, um, yeah, I'll, I'll just give the same advice, just start, mm-hmm. I think that's the the best advice you can give to someone, just start, because, yeah, that's right, um, yeah, with, with our it's more based on the person and like it's more subjective Mm. so i can't tell you what to make Mm. um i can't be like there's no formula i can't be like oh paint this first and then draw this and then do this and then this um then you'll be this like you just have to start like just just start um that's true and can i just say another thing um i feel like as well is to find a community and so I feel like um, you're in the Creative Christian Hangout group, right? By Jonathan Ogden? No. Oh, no? On Discord? No. no. Oh, okay. Well, you should join. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> but, like, just find people who maybe are in the sim- like similar areas as you in similar industries. Um, I feel like mm-hmm. I've been able to connect with a bunch of people um, from all over the world on that, you know, Discord group um, who are all yeah. creatives, you know, and they do all different things and people share what they create, share what they uh, make or things that they like. And, and um, yeah, you're able to build friendships and connections there because I think when you have that support system as well, 
um, it makes it a lot easier, you know, um, it yeah. makes, it makes it easier to create and, and, you know, you've got people you can kind of bounce ideas off and, and just share your visions and what, what you want to do, you know, um, in the future and things like that. So community is also very important. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I, I have, uh, um, I'm in like another discord, which is, is kind of the same mm. thing. Um, it's, uh, do you know Dala? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So she has one, uh, called like the salt studio. Okay. Uh, that one's quite new mm. though, but I'm, yeah, I'm in that one. Um, but I, I definitely do need to join CCH because I, I, I keep hearing we about it. Connected. <laughs> <laughs> I keep hearing really? about it. I, um, okay, I just assumed yeah. you were on there because, like, all the people that, you know, we, we follow oh, no. and we know, they're all on there. So you need to get yeah, on I, there. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I definitely need to get on yeah. there. I, I, I keep hearing about it. I've heard a lot of things. I've heard a lot of references like... Yeah. Oh, C C H, and I'm like, oh yeah, I've heard of that. Yeah, no, it's cool. Like okay, I, yeah. like I'm not always on there. You know, sometimes it can be, um, like there's so many people on there, which is awesome. Oh, um, gosh, but yeah. like sometimes it can be like overwhelming. You're going through all the notifications and stuff. Um, but yeah, like I'll just take time out to maybe allocate a bit of time in the day. You know, just go through, <laughs> see what people are making, what they're creating, and you know, you can get some inspo from that as well. And um, I'm mm. pretty sure they have like a collaborations section too. So people network with each other and things like that. So yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. Sounds mm. good. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, I'd say that's, we can wrap up there. Uh, thank you Harmony for doing this with me. This was really fun. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, I definitely have to bring you on again cause, uh, this was a bit too short, you know. We need a longer episode. I know. But like, you have a lot to we say. We could talk about <laughs> so much more. I think, yeah, we'll yeah. do another collab um, and we'll we'll talk even more. <laughs> but this was yeah, so good and definitely. thank you so much for having me on here. Um, it's been awesome. Thank you. All right. Um, thank you guys for jo- Oh, yes. Where can people find you? Um, I almost forgot <laughs> that. <laughs> I do that too. I'm the worst. I'm like, oh, wait. Promote myself, no. <laughs> um, so yeah, you can just find me on Instagram at the Authentic Art. Um, that's all I'm really using at the moment. Like I have TikTok and things. Um, mm-hmm. I don't post too much on there, but I would love to. Um, and yeah, hopefully we'll get some YouTube content up and running soon. But just Instagram's the way to go at the moment. Yeah, YouTube's mm-hmm. good. Speaking of YouTube. Uh, I post videos on YouTube, okay, but people don't really go in there. But if you want to go to my YouTube, it's Joshua Obeng Boateng. That's my YouTube channel. I just posted a video on their podcast video, the full episode. It's quite old, but because I'm trying to edit more, uh, it takes a lot of time. It so, does. It really know. does. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I can feel that, yeah. But yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a really fun episode, so... Um, If you guys want to see the full episode, it's on YouTube. Um, I'll be posting more on there. So if you want to see my face and other people's faces, go to YouTube. (laughs) Um, Yeah, thank you guys. Uh, Thank you, Harmony, for joining. And I'll see you next time. Thank you. Oh, my no, 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 no.